Hi everyone, welcome back. If you do not know, my name is Devin. Here on my channel, I cover all things beauty. That includes makeup, fragrance, and designer here and there. If you think that is something you'll be interested in, then I hope you stay and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified every week when I upload a video. We are doing kind of like a first impressions on this brand new scent from the House of Soul de Janeiro. So you guys, a quick little thoughts on this brand new fragrance and why it is attracting spiders. Then just keep watching. All right, y'all. So I bought this immediately. Like as soon as it released, I think I got the cream first. It released first. And then I went back um, and I got the spray. It took almost two weeks for my spray to get here. So this video will be up late. So if you see it and you want to watch it, great. But if you're kind of over the scent already, I apologize. Sephora played me, okay? First of all, this scent is very, very hype right now. And it's hype because I'm pretty sure someone on TikTok said that the scent is so good it attracts spiders. That is the most BS mess that I've ever heard. And I feel like when people do that, it's literally for views. Like, why would you lie and say this attracts spiders? And it does not. And the reason why I know this is because I've worn it, okay? Like, and out here in Texas, y'all got spiders, okay? Y'all got lots of bugs. Y'all got big bugs, little bugs, all the bugs, okay? This ain't attracting none of that. So that right there is some BS. But anyways, <laughs> The name of the scent is 59 Delicia. So it looks like this. So I actually purchased the little guy because I just never purchased really big body butters because, you know, I'm not sure if I'll ever get through them or if I'm going to like the scent. So I decided to go ahead and purchase the small one. And this is what it looks like. I feel like a lot of product do not be in this little thing for it to be like $25 or however much it is. But honestly, the scent is so, so pretty to me. It's actually a really, really nice scent. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the back of my hand and pull it back, back here. This is actually a really, really nice scent. I do enjoy the Sol de Janeiro um, body butters in general. They are really, really nice. I don't think they're overly hydrating or anything like that, but they are nice. The scent is pretty. Um, the scent notes in here are vanilla orchid, sugared violet, and sheer sandalwood. Uh, I love all of those notes. I don't have a problem with any of them. So that is the reason why I was like, I can go ahead and pick this up. Um, and I can smell it in the body butter, but I feel like it's just not extremely heavy. Um, it is very, very light. Whereas I think uh, 62, the Bum Bum Cream, that one smells really, really strong. And my son is playing in the window. I'm sick of him, y'all. I'm so sick of him. <laughs> so anyway, like this, I do feel like this smells like a really sweet but light vanilla. At least in the body cream, that is mainly what I get. I get a lot of the vanilla aspect in here and it's very, very sweet, but it's light, okay? It's light. I smell it, but it's just, it's not, it's nothing heavy. Now, I picked up <laughs> the body mist, but I did not realize that I picked up the freaking jumbo one. I thought I just picked up the regular size. I don't know how I did that but i think this is this is the 8.1 fluid ounce and it's freaking huge like it's huge and i don't know that i need this ginormous bottle but i mean we're here now so yeah so we're gonna go ahead and spray her and honestly it smells really nice it smells really really nice it's very very sweet vanilla i do get a hint of like the violet in here is a slight, light little bit violet, like light florally. But if you're looking for a really nice, just light everyday vanilla, I feel like you would enjoy this. Um, I don't think I love this enough to want the big bottle, um, but I probably will go back and get the smaller bottle. Final thoughts on this fragrance is it is very nice. It is a really pretty light vanilla slightly floral but not like 
overly floral it just has like a hint of the violet in the background i don't really get any sandalwood from this i just get straight vanilla nice sweet light vanilla now this is not a heavy hitter i don't feel like this is going to stay on your skin all day long or anything because i've only had this on my skin for about 20 minutes give or take and like i smell it but it's nothing it's nothing like, oh my God, I need this. I need backups. I don't like it that much. Like I like it enough to keep what I have, but not enough to run out and buy more, if that makes sense. Like 71 is really, really good. 62 is even good. And they had that the the one that recently came out for like winter time, that dark blue one, that one was really, really good. Um, but this one is nice. It's just, it's not, it's hyped, okay? It is the hype behind it that is getting you know that's wanting people to go out and run and get in it's not it's not it's not that to me like i have bath and body works fragrance mist that smell better that will last longer and nowhere near as expensive as this is because i think this was like 35 dollars for this particular size and it's just no it's not worth it to me so it's nice but it's it's just not worth it <laughs> okay so yeah that is it guys that is my quick little you know thoughts on the brand new fragrance it is good it is nice but it is height okay height um so yeah if you guys have this fragrance um tell me what you think yeah. thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in another video bye